Hey guys, welcome to the Salient Fundamentals series. Um, today we're going to be going over the shape divider type. It's going to be pretty close, uh, pretty, pretty easy to understand. It's going to be pretty quick, so let's go ahead and dive into it. Um, so the shape divider, I'll show you this in just a second. Shape dividers are optional parts of the row background layer, which can add exciting design possibilities. A shape divider will not display in your back row background unless the sh enable shape divider option is activated. So <clears throat> to give you a real example here, let's go ahead and just add a text block. And then we'll just leave that lower mipsum in there. And then again, this is we're going over the rows. So we'll be going over, I'll, I'll mention columns, uh, and I've mentioned columns in the previous videos, but this is going to be a lot more focused towards rows, and then we'll do column elements after. So let's go ahead and click in uh, the row settings. Um, and then here, if you look to the fourth from the left, it is, uh, you click on shape divider, then um, we have all these different options here. Obviously, this is the enable shape divider button that will enable the shape divider itself. We can change the shape divider color. So let's go ahead and add something here. Uh, let's do, um, let's just do clouds because I've never actually done it. I, I personally don't think I would like it, but I kind of just want to see what it looks like. Let's give it just like a default blue color. Um, shape divider position, bottom is fine. Let's do 100 width. Um, 100 actually you know what let's do five percent there we go and we'll bring to the front a little bit later i'll talk about that in, j in just a bit so let's look at what that looks like okay that doesn't look good at all so let's figure out why it doesn't look good right off the bat okay let's move this to full width background let's give ourselves five percent five percent padding here okay there we go it's a little better okay and i'm thinking for this one we'll probably just need to increase the actual size of everything a lot more so let's do ten percent let's double that see what that looks like yeah that's what we'll have to do okay so 45 yeah okay let's see let's do 90 okay so it was the size of it itself now let's uh let's make this background white just so we can dive into this a little bit more okay cool so now uh so now that this is what it looks like um we've kind of gone through different options and you know it has curve fan curve opacity a lot of this could be used in many different ways i'll give you a couple examples in just a bit let me look make sure we're not missing anything represents the actual svg so this is svg this is a svg element which is a which is a vector style element if you didn't know so let's go over the shape divider position itself okay so it's pretty self-explanatory so if we go down to let's see let's do top position we'll see here switches to the top now we'll do bottom and top okay now that looks a little weird so let's go ahead and uh, let's do full height row Oh, okay. I definitely don't like that. So, and that is probably because now the shape divider height is now 90%, right? Um, according to this area here. So let's go ahead and kind of redo this. Let's do 10%. Okay. Percent of that area there. All right. That looks better. There we go. So if we wanted to keep the, you know, the, the, the clouds, so to speak, I don't really like the clouds too much, but 
but you could probably do something cool with it in some way. I mean, you got to be creative. There's some really cool way to do it, I'm sure. Um, let's see if, what this curve opacity looks like. Ooh. See, that's pretty clean. That's super clean. It's got that nice look. And especially, um, well, you know, let's do this. Let's do this. I, I really like, I like this idea here. Um, I have a little tool called Color Slurp that I use in conjunction a lot with um, with saline. It allows me to grab the colors of anywhere on my computer, which is awesome. So I think I already had that there. Go ahead and copy and paste that. Let's go. Let's look at this. Now that see see how it see now I I did that because so that it would uh, kind of seep into the top right. Um, so you want to. Uh, I'm sure you've seen effects where you're like, oh, how do they do that? And like, you have to work, um, you want to find ways to, creative and simple ways to kind of like set a great tone for for your audience. And, you know, doing things like this with the shape divider um, could be a really cool way of doing that, you know? And that's that's why he offered that. And it's a great way to, um, divide different areas. That's also another. And I'll show that. Uh, let me just show that real quick. So let's just do bottom. No, you know what? Let's leave that. Let's leave that. Let's leave that. No, you know what? Let's just leave the top. Let's leave top. Okay, that way we have. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and add. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to collapse the full height row so I have a little bit more room to play with on the bottom here because I want to show you another way that salient uh, that I've really admired how salient uses his own elements um, so let's go ahead and do this uh, let's do five and then we'll do like 10% and that way we can kind of get a similar effect probably actually 15% cool um, and then let's say we have some content down here that we want to oh it's also important to note that an inner row does not contain a display divider uh, divider okay so it's important to note that so if you're looking for an inner row that is not happening and and inner rows are can be extremely helpful which you uh, uh, you add it here so you just click on a column element and it can add another row and you can add like different padding elements and it can really help you a lot with structure and organization very simple way see pretty cool so um but it does not have a shape divider so let me let's 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 find an example for us here of let's add uh, another row and we'll just duplicate this here there we go and then I'll do full with, oop, full with background. Again, the full with background will keep you in w uh, within this container's parameters within the, this uh, preset site width, which will be, which is uh, good to keep in mind and good to understand early. The earlier you um, you start. So percent. And we'll add 5%. Now we'll go into a shape divider here. And then we'll do straight section. We'll do white. Bottom, divider height. This one we actually want to do like five pixels itself. Okay. And then we have to enable it for it to work. And boom, we have it. So this, as you can see, can be used really, really uh, well in structure and defining different areas of your site. Um, so just a good thing to remember that. That's probably the, one of the best ways to use a shape divider. And then we have the bring to front. So let me, okay, let's do the bottom and, and top again. See how that looks. 
And let's do something like 45% so it can start kind of covering our... Let's do... Actually, you know what? Let's just put those clouds again. That way you can kind of see it. There we go. Okay, now if we bring to front, you'll see this cloud cover the words. One thing I forgot to mention that if you do a, if you bring a, sometimes a row into into the front, so let's do that right here. Okay, you see that you've lost kind of control of, of, of editing the text. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go to Element Navigator, click on the row as it highlights over the element that you want to edit, click on that row section, go back to Shape Divider and take it out of front or of course if you want to you know, keep it in front you can just change it itself or you can open this and uh, change each, uh, op click on the drop down of the row in, in the element navigator and then you can edit the text block by clicking on it. So I uh, hope that helps and uh, yeah. I haven't used this yet but that's not to say that you can't use this in a really cool way you know maybe you have like this um, uh, image it would probably work just fine with an image not the cloud so to speak but you could if, if you're doing something that relates to it but uh, or you can relate it but it can it can it can be done I'm, I'm sure and there's plenty of ways there's different structures it all depends on your design your intended goal you just want to make sure that probably not words just because of legibility and people not being able to read it which is always a problem um, you want to make sure your message is very clear and things are very simple to understand you know with your site uh, especially if you're first starting out don't worry about being too fancy worry about it looking symmetrically good and um, everything being you know being very clear and simple to understand start there and then salient has its own beautiful look with it and then you know we can you can dive more into it so um, this was a quick one I, I hope this helps please you know like my videos um, comment and let me know how I'm doing um, I'm trying my best to get better and better with these and to pump them out faster for you guys and to keep it as high value as possible um, salient is going to be uh, theme nectar itself uh, actually is going to be incorporating these videos on the official documentation page which is just amazing and unreal so we're kind of collaborating in that way the actual author of this theme so it's awesome um i hope you have an amazing day and uh yeah talk to you soon